Hello, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I'm here, finally going to be opening up uh, this long overdue thing. Um, the Pyrus Cyrus Ultra uh, with its Baku gear and the Ventus Orlis Trux XNL Bilius Ultra. Um, and here and here, it also comes with a Ventus Chaos Halcor X Rampyrian and a Darkest Aquas Pegatrix X Gillator. Um, other than the Bakugan in here, it comes with the two Bakugan Ultra, one Bakugan, two Bakugan, eight Bakugan cores, four character cards, four ability cards, two instruction sheet, one toy battling's real sheet. Um, so let me go ahead, take this guy out of its packaging, and we'll go on ahead to checking him out. Alrighty, here we have them out of their packaging. Um, so let's actually, first I had to just, just go out, open up their card pack, see what exactly they all come with. Uh, first off, it comes with this customer care for Spin Master. Uh, if you need any information or want to contact customer service at Spin Master, there you go. All right. Um, next off, uh, let's check out Baku Cores it comes with. All right. So Green Fist, plus 150, plus one damage. Uh, Green Fist, plus three damage. Helix... Uh, plus 400 GB power, neg 1 damage, and neg 1 on the energy for uh, back of your cost. Um, magic shield, plus 500 GB power, and then negative 1 on the gear cost. Helix uh, Fusion Bakugan, get plus 300 GB power and plus 2 frost, not too bad. Uh, okay, this is one of the better. Uh, magic shield cores to get for if you're using a Fusion Bakugan on your team. Um, because once it is... Once you do flip it over for that fusion, uh, it now gets 700 B power uh, from the extra four. Uh, but regular Bakugan, they only get the 300. Uh, uh, another good one, plus 500 uh, for fusion Bakugan, and then a plus six damage. Uh, first. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, and we have instructions for both Trox, Nobilius, and Cyrus. And then the rules and whatnot, we don't need those. And then the cards here it comes with. Let's check them out. Throw anything. Yep, throw the throw that billboard of what Cabo advertising some potato chips or something? What is this? Some sort of cake? I don't know. Cabo is some sort of Cabo advertising there. Um so darkest, throw anything, trademarked as well. Uh, two energy costs for plus 400 B power and Shadow Strike. And right here we have our Pegatrix and Gillator. Base Darkest. Uh, Magic Shield Flipping Fist. Base 600 B power. Base 3 damage. Fusion cost is 5. And that will get you this thing. Uh, Darkest Aquas Pegatrix X Gillator. Uh, Magic Shield Flipping Fist. Base B power becomes 1100. Base damage is 5. It has 2 Frost. All right. Uh, our base Ventus, Halcor, and Rimperian. Um, shield and Fist. The base 400 B power, base 3 damage. And its fusion cost is 2. So we go ahead, flip that over. And we get this looking thing. He looks all metal and whatnot. Uh, Ventus, Chaos, Halcor, X, Rimperian. Uh, shield and Fist. Base 700 B power, base 5 damage. Then we have Multi Slash Armor, trademarked. At three energy cost, um, you get a plus, uh, you get one shield. Uh, so if you take damage, uh, this takes one cost off what you take. So if your opponent, if you end up losing, opponent deals you, say, five damage, you play this, uh, and then that would become one. I don't know, that would become, that'd take one off, so you'd only take the four damage. Or you'd play it, I don't know. Something like that. Uh, B power becomes 300, damage becomes 1. Uh, let's see here. Ventus, base of Trox and Nobilius, Magic Shield Helix, base 500, B power, base 3 damage. Fusion cost is 8, my lord. And that gets you this guy. Uh, with a base B power of 1600 and base damage of 8. Uh, Ventus, Aurelis, Trox and Nobilius Ultra, Magic Shield and Helix. And then here's our Pyrus, Cyrus Ultra. 
uh, Helix and Green Fist, base 300 GP power, base of 4 damage, uh, and Victor, uh, you get plus 2 energy, that's not too bad. Uh, then we have Burn Cutter here, for 3 energy cost, um, also reduces 1 damage. Uh, B power 100 and damage, 5. That's not too bad. Oh, we also have this other card, uh, Ventus Distraction, trademarked at... Uh, 700, not 700, 7 energy cost. Uh, neg 12 damage and draw 1. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at these things. We'll take a look at the ultras in a second. Uh, but for now, uh, let me just roll. Set up this hide, hide matrix. So we can just go ahead and start test rolling out these guys. Alrighty, um, so first off, let's take a look at our Pegatrix and Gilator here. Uh, there are core back again, so it doesn't really matter which way you roll it, as long as you aim properly, like I wasn't doing, even though I thought I was. Let's go ahead and try this again. Bakugan Brawl. There you go. Here's our Pegatrix and Gilator. Looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. They're like in like in the blue and the black and the purple and they gave them orange eyes. That's something. Uh, back of your spots for this thing are here, here, uh, and on the tip of its tail there, which is pretty interesting. I'm just liking they give it like two different shades of blue on here. Uh, like all this dark stuff here. And then, like, lighter ones on the back here. Oh, there's interesting purple on the side. This thing looks really nice. I'm really digging the looks of this. Faction symbols there, Darkus and Aquas. Pretty much that. Now, let's go ahead and check out our Halcor Rampyrian. All right, again, core, but it doesn't matter how you roll up as long as you, you know, aim properly, like I'm thinking I'm doing, but I'm not. My goodness me, I have to come on and put you here. That's good enough distance. Roll it. No, that was completely off. Let's try it one more time. And that did not work. There you go. All right, well, here, he opened up back. But yeah, our Halcor and Rampyrian. Looking pretty interesting as a Chaos Ventus type guy. So I'm just playing with the focusing on this, but yeah. Chaos and Ventus. Um, back here, spots for him. Then you got one here, and then on his sides. Not pretty much else to this guy. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's check out this guy here. Uh, one of the reasons people are buying this set is our Trox Ex Nobilius. Because it is. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is game-wise, but it is Winton's, I guess, fusion back on when they're going up against Havoc, and one thing, one guy needed to make up our Infinity Dragonoid here. Uh, it's one of those pieces. So. So, yeah. Uh, back here spots for him. Let's see, are here on his leg and right over there. Uh, we got our Ventus and Orlis symbols. Looking really nice with this golden highlights, kind of like silver, silvery black, gray on the bottom. It's got yellow teeth. Um, yeah, I myself am not entirely sure how this thing closes up because this is my first Trox X Nibilius, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let me just go ahead and let's get the instructions and figure out how the heck to close them. Alright, so feet go up, has a head or, or torso comes down. Um, then the back, that back flap comes over, the wings, I guess, right, those are wings on him, 
They go in. Uh, and the tail comes down and around. All right. Let's try it. So what? Feet. Feet are up. Feet are up. This torso kind of comes. What? Comes down. Like that. This is interesting. Feet are like this. And this comes down. Wasn't this frustrating? This comes down. This co come on. Don't be frustrating. This is in. All right, this comes down. Let me know if you guys have trouble putting him into his ball form like I am for whatever the reason. All right, this it goes in like this, and then this thing comes around it. I cannot figure out exactly what the heck I'm doing wrong here. This whole thing comes up. Come on. Comes in. This goes down. All right. This goes down, and this thing goes over it. Then you got these guys. Go over that, which it's not doing, which I'm really frustrated with now. So I'll have this up. Bring the feet up. This, oh, this goes, oh, that goes in like that. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. It goes back in. This comes down. All right, and this goes over. This, like that. Kinda did that. All right, there we go. There is our Troxtex Nobilius. That was frustrating, more frustrating than it needed to be. Um, that's why you have instructions, kids. All right, let's go ahead, roll them out. Let's do it first forwards. We're gonna roll them out forwards, backwards, and then on the side, we're gonna roll them out three times just to see how he rolls. Bring him on back and let him go. All right, well, uh, he opened up, yes, just not really <laughs> that graceful. He kind of just did like, kind of just flipped over and landed on his backside. Uh, but rolling him out forwards, that does work, yes, indeed. Um, now let's try to close him up better now, right? Because I know the better way to do it. Bring this back, this comes forward, then this, and then like that. There we have him. All right, now let's roll him out backwards see if that makes any difference uh three two one beku gun bro all well now wasn't that much better uh than rolling him forwards as he actually landed on his feet um all right then so forwards backwards that doesn't matter uh so i guess let's try rolling him out on his side now just to see if he'll pick up the core like he did the other ones, or he will not. All right, right here. Three, two, one. Bakugan Brawl. All right, he did open up uh, going on his side, which is always good. Uh, so your Trucks X Nobilius Ultra Bakugan, which way you roll it forward, backwards, or on his side, doesn't really matter. Um... But, you know, maybe do it forwards just to get your best result. Either way, it's up to you uh, if you decide to use one of these guys. Um, all right, now let's check out our Pyrus Cyrus Ultra here, the guy that comes with its Baku gear, um, which has spots for it on his sides here. All right, has some missile-looking things on his sides here. They kind of really go over his, his feet now, don't they? Am I put, I'm putting them on right, yeah? Yeah, they're just kind of squishing his feet. In. Maybe I have them on the wrong wrong sides. Yeah, that's what it was. I had them on I had them on the wrong side. Um because of the peg here goes on to the bottom one, that's what it is. 
right? And it has that little space out for the foot. Ah, okay. Yeah, so make sure you put them in on the, on the right side. Um, and then we have its bow and arrow looking thing here. Let's, let's see, it's gonna go on to its back there. Let's go ahead, drop it and see how it opens. All right, well, that was that. Um, again, it's not one of those better looking back of the years in my opinion, just cause there's like this whole empty space. Um, if they made it so it would have another part, like you, know, you stick on, you drop it on here, and then it does this thing, but also comes down. Like, that would have been a little bit better, in my opinion, but mm, they have to cut costs somewhere in engineering, right? Um, it's a lot of bad-looking back of gear overall, I guess. It's just, it's just not, it, they just could have done it a little bit better, in my opinion. Um... Anywho, enough of that, I guess. Uh, let's take on to closing closing them up and see how the actual heck we do that. Um, it does look nice as a translucent thing. I will say that. Uh, bah, B powers right there. Um, all right, so let's take its instructions out here and see how we close this guy. All right, so wings are going to come up and down. Uh, feet are going to come in, back piece, and then the tail and head. Okay, so so wings are going to come up and down, up oh, and down. Feet come in. It's back piece, I guess, is going to kind of go like this. It's head. It's tail over and there you have your Sarah Ultra closed up all right let's go ahead and fix up the high matrix so we get to go ahead and rolling them out uh, again forward backwards on his side we're gonna roll them out three times just to see how he rolls let's bring him on back and let him go arrow pointed forwards three two one back gun brawl All right, he did pop out uh, nicely, landed in front of trucks there. Um, but rolling him forwards, that that is pretty good. Um, now let's go ahead and try rolling him on his backside, uh, just to really see if that makes any sort of difference. Head in, and then... Come on, I have all the things here. Come on. There we go. A little bit iffy putting it in, but there we go. Let's roll him on his back now. Arrow pointed this way. Three, two, one. Back of gone brawl. Well, heck, that was pretty good, too. Um, so rolling him forwards and backwards. Either way is fine. That's That's always good to know. Uh, now let's go ahead and roll it out on his side, uh, just to see if that's the way you don't want to do it. But based on the other two methods, um, I say it might might be okay. Uh, but then again, how it does spring up, that is the actual question. Um, so let's go ahead and roll it out on his side here, see how he rolls. All right, well, rolling him out on his side, he does pick up the Baku core. Yes, uh, it's just not as graceful as the other two options. Um, but rolling him out on his back does indeed do the trick as well. Um, let's go ahead, stick in a little Baku gear. All right, there. Um, all right, that is pretty much going to be it uh, for this here video of opening up uh, the Pyrus Trox, um, Py Pyrus Trox, Pyrus Aceris, uh Ultra, and Orlis, Ventus Orlis Trox X Nobilius, uh, Bakugan. Uh, Baku gear pack. 
Uh, if I had actually found my marker, I would have, you know, checked them off of my list because there are new packs gone. But when I find it later, I'll do that uh, post um, off camera. But anywho, this is end of video. So let's actually go ahead this time, open up a booster pack. This one, I'm pretty sure is indeed my last, my very last Age of Orlis booster pack I do have uh, and are going to open up right now. Um, it is only one of three sets available here in Canada at the moment. Um, being October of 2021. Other sets available for purchase here in Canada are Resurgence and Battle Brawlers. No other sets available at the moment. Why? I don't know. Um, so we have to go ahead with these three sets as our, <laughs> as our format, unfortunately, and see what the heck, let's see what the heck we pull out of this one. All right, Growing Giant, Liquid Darts, Hydro Barrage, Aquas Breath, Aquas Blast, Anchor Strike, Diamond Vicerox Core for our first rare. Uh, we have Chaos Hyper Hydronoid for our second rare. And then we have Ventus Titan Fade Ninja as our super rare for our Hex. We have... Cabo Gaze. All right. Um, not too bad. A pretty interesting looking hex. I uh, wonder if it costs up or else if you do, you may play a hero card that costs six or less for free. That's actually pretty good. Um, if your opponent's attacking you with it or less back and gone and you have a hero card in your hand that costs six or less to play. Uh, so this is extremely situational. It may not always go off. Um, so it's, again, one of those side deck cards I recommend, unfortunately. There is no side deck in this game. Why? I don't know. Uh, anywho, if you did enjoy this here video, please indeed leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you know my next video goes up. Till next time, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Have fun battling while and collecting. Uh, remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your roles, and until next time, sayonara.